Hey guys, Cross here. Um, I decided to do a video on um, gems and uh, diamonds uh, for uh, the new tamers and uh, DPS for you guys. Uh, same thing. It is really my videos. If some of some of the stuff applies for uh, scouts as well, uh, this uh, video particularly applies to both both uh, classes or uh, paths I should say so um, this video is going to focus on uh, gem forging uh, into uh, diamonds all right guys um, um, so right now I'm just giving you oh I just want to make you know let you guys know I, I when I did this the video initially my audio was off so I'm going to be talking over the video all right <laughs> apologies for that so we're going to head over to um, Fort Plaza over to uh, closer just so we can get closer to the uh, to the gem merchant all right all right so gem guys are broken down into uh, three uh, categories before diamonds all right you got epic uh, you got rare and then you got common all right um, epics are purple blue and uh, sorry epics are purple rare is blue and then common is green all right so to get a diamond, as you can see, you need five uh, epics and then four grinders. All right. So right now we got three, and then we got about uh, we got about nine rares and we got about uh, sixteen um, commons. Okay. Uh, that's see. This is where you go to buy them. They're split up between three pages, uh, from attack all the way to HP. Okay, um, so you can see uh, they're split, they're only split between uh, common and rare. Okay, in order to get epic, you gotta mix these up. So, whichever one you want to focus on, whether it's HP or damage, you want to pick the one you want to spend on, right? So, right now, for this case, um, we're gonna work on uh, attack uh, diamonds. So, we're gonna use the uh, common and uh, rare uh, dragon eyes for now, for this video. Okay. So we're gonna polish these because we are be right. We you need about eight to make one rare. We got ten. We got eleven. All right. Uh, still not enough to make uh, two more uh, rare, uh, epics. So we're just gonna buy one more. One more uh, rare. So that's gonna give us twelve. And then we're gonna get our full five out of five uh, rare gems. All right. All right. So we're gonna get that going. All right. So now we got uh, five out of five uh, epic gem guys. All right. So in order to determine diamonds, click on them, polish. We need four grinders. Okay. Two ways to get that. Go. Uh, it's gonna prompt you to go to item all for straight from there, or you can just X out of it, and then just go to the trade. I'm sure you guys all those know this by now, but again, we got people that don't. All right. So for the sake of the video, it's an informative video. I'm just gonna show you guys both ways to get it. Uh, we're gonna buy four of them right now. They're gonna be cheaper over the weekends, but for the sake of this video, I just I just want to do this for you guys. All right. So we're gonna sort it. Okay, they're all at the bottom. We're gonna go back up, and we're gonna polish them. All right. So uh, before you guys do this, um, you guys have a chance. You get uh, one of the additional stats at the bottom here, right? You get you got a chance of getting 0 0.5 to 2.5 crit percentage, or 0 0.5 to 2.5 accuracy. Okay, and that's gonna if you're a scout uh, tamer. Uh, you really want to focus on uh, trying trying to get the crit. A lot of the per, uh, every scout will tell you this crit percentage. Try to bump that up. Everyone, every scout wants that. So I'll show you some of the diamonds I've uh, forged in the past. I've got have about 1.7, 1.9. I think the highest I've had is uh, 1.1. Uh, and I think I put it. I have it on my offhand. Scroll down here. See, I got 2.1. All right. So, go back. We're gonna polish. 
and then we're gonna see what we're gonna get, all right? All right, drum roll. Let's see what we got. And all right, 1.3. It wouldn't happen. Honestly, I was hoping a little bit, at least 1.8, 1.9, but it's better than 1.1 or below 1.1. So we're gonna keep it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put that on my offhand. So what's what's that gonna do? Is we're gonna get well for some reason it's accuracy. Didn't even know that. Um, so we're gonna take it off, and then we're gonna add the 1.3 uh, that we just forged. So before I want to show you guys before. What it what it's gonna be at the end? I'm gonna show you guys what it looks. So we got three uh, 32.2. All right, minimum attack at 9.57. So I'm gonna show you guys. Once you guys have, once you guys take out that level 30 diamond, it's not completely useless. You can actually dismantle it for a shard that's gonna be later on uh, used to um, to get additional shards. You can actually get higher. Uh, higher level in you get higher level in um in uh, the higher level in uh sorry in attack so we get higher level in, in attack but you're still gonna maintain that 1.2 crit but what we're doing is to get higher attack so we're gonna we got extra slots so these other guys are level 20 uh diamonds right so we're gonna dismantle that there we got that 30 we got two shards and it's gonna bump up our uh we've already increased it just by putting that level 40 gem already so we're gonna increase it even more by uh dismantling the level 20s so we can get the bonus stuff to bonus shards to get the more level 30s so we're gonna pick my necklace we're gonna put it in there yeah, as I was doing this video, I really I realized actually there's enough I can purchase uh two level 30 uh diamonds, so it's going to give me an extra eight attack. Four from each uh for each level 30. See, so you trade them in, you get an extra four cuz it was 14 for level 20s, you get an extra four and you maintain the 1.1 1 .1, uh crit percentage. And for those who've noticed, my Razor Win, I'm actually experimenting uh, DPS with uh, Razor Win on Tamer. So it's a work in progress. I want to make a separate video on it. But for now, just for those who uh, got a keen eye for observation. <laughs> Alright, so now we got the, the level 30 here. And we got another um, level 20. We're just going to dismantle it. And then we're going to purchase another 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 level 30 all right so this is pretty much an extra eight attack just sitting in uh, in our bag right now we're gonna put them both on there now that we have them all right beautiful now we're at uh, 45k rating guys 45k rating look at that we are from 957 to 971, and we got an extra crit. All right, so just little adjustments like this, guys, is trust me. It's all you, you gotta like know it to the T, and don't waste your time doing the wrong things. Uh, if you have any level 30s, just dismantle them. Keep the level 40 commons because it fits into this process. All right, you want to keep these. Anything lower than that, get rid of it. That's just my, that's just me. Alright, same thing applies. Same step that we just did applies for whether you're doing HP or spell defense, alright? I don't know if any of you even watched my, um, my previous videos. I think I was at around 30k HP till I started focusing on gems. And then uh, I kind of stopped because of, of the star circle, but I'm not really 
to me, I still, I, this way for me is more efficient because you're actually focusing on things. Like, I think uh, Star Circle is way such a drain of resources. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. Like, start, it's beneficial if you upgrade it and you got the stuff, but it takes so much time. I honestly rather do this first and then work on your uh, Star Circle, guys. That's just my tip. I'm a pretty, I got a lot of common sense. I'm a pretty smart guy when it comes to this uh, stuff, but like, Again, it's entirely up to you. If you want to do Star Circle, go ahead. You got the mats for it, go ahead. But for me, I want to work on my HP first. Work on my HP first and work my survivability, then worry about Star Circle, to be honest. I think it's more important, especially as a tamer. That's what you want to do. If you're a scout, go ahead, focus on the Star Circle, just because it gives you an extra uh, extra attack and crit. But for me, as a tamer, this is, what, this is the path you guys want to take for now. Um, even, uh, so the same steps that we did when we dismantled, uh, the 20s and the 30s, you do it for your, uh, level 30. So this is what I'm talking about when I was recording the video here. Um, to, so to get all these, my level 30s to level 40, uh, 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 diamond, I need to make one or two more level 40 diamonds and dismantle it and I'm going to get the shards. Yeah, I need to get two more, and I'll get two extra shards, and that's about four level 30 Dazzling Diamonds to level 40. So that's going to increase my HP again. All right. And then also, when you guys are, uh, while you guys are doing that, focus on the hunts. The hunts are really, really, really important, guys. Uh, they give a lot of defense. Like, look how, look how many hunts give you defense. Look at that. Boom. Boom. All defense. Really important. Work on the hunts. Get your... Really focus on one. For me, I just focus on one hunt to get the defense up. And then uh, focus on the gems. Work on your HP. DPS comes after. Do the attack gems after. For me, just because I'm... Uh, I've done a lot... I've, I've, I've had a lot of progress. I just wanted to get my minimum attack to 1,000. That's the only reason why I'm doing the Dragon Eye. Alright? That's the only reason why I'm doing the Dragon Eye. Uh, and... Um, once that's done, if you have a minute attack, just focus on the uh, HP for uh, for diamonds, and then do your hunts for your defense, and also yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Do these three things. Do these two, three things, and you guys will be all right. You guys will be all right. Star Circle, not really a fan of it right now. Um, but if you guys have any questions or comments comment below and I'll address them as fast as I can, alright? Cross out.